delivering quality education, expanding access to learning, The official TV-based instruction of Tagum City. This is Tagum City Division's Dep Ed TV Banana. everyone today we're going to learn and take on another math adventure i am a teacher on air teacher hermery t Ismael, airing from studio rizal alive media center and this is the math thinkers episode When you hear the sound, that means that your time is up. Thank you. 
Store to this month at Alin. Do you recognize these? Yes! These are numbers. Numbers can be categorized into two unique identities. No matter how small or great the value of a certain number, it can still be identified as either an odd or an even number. Odd numbers are whole numbers that can't be divided exactly into pairs. Odd numbers, when divided by two, leave a remainder of one. For example, one, three, five, seven, nine, eleven, and thirteen. These numbers leave a remainder of one when divided by two. Even numbers are numbers that can be divided into two equal groups. For example, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, and 14. These numbers can be divided exactly into pairs. The best and easiest way to determine whether a number is an odd or even number is to look at the end number or the number in its one's place value. Numbers with 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, and 11 in the end or in their one space value are odd numbers. While numbers with 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10 in the end or in their one space value are even numbers. Let's check number 659. What is in its one's place value? Hmm. Correct. The number in its one's place value is 9. Therefore, 659 is an odd number. Let's check number 898. What is in its one's place value? Good job! The number in its one's place value is 8. Therefore, 898 is an even number. Let us have another example. Mrs. Jean's class will join a girl from. She told her learners to fall in line in pairs. If she has 24 learners in her class, will each learner find a partner? How about if she has 23 learners? Would everyone have a pair? Among the given numbers, which one is an odd number? Now, let's try to answer this math challenge. Determine whether the number is an odd or even number. You are given 5 seconds to answer each item. And when you hear the sound, then your time is up. One hundred one is an odd number. Good job. Two hundred thirty eight is an even number. Fifty 
4 is an even number. Eight hundred seventy-three is an odd number. Good job, math thinkers! Now you know how to identify odd and even numbers. I believe that you are now ready to answer this math challenge. Let us now determine whether a number is an odd or even number. Write your answer on your answer sheet. You are given five seconds to answer each item. And when you hear the sound, then your time is stop. Always be guided without a reminder for conducive learning.